Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. You know what? Stephen A. Smith fake outrage is just hilarious. I told you it's to the point to where you just eventually got to start tuning guys like him and Jason Whitlock out because they're trying to be. Jason Whitlock tries to be a shock jock. But he doesn't shock nobody because everybody knows what he's going to say. When you're predictable, that makes you less effective. Because people already know what you're going to do. They already know what you're going to say. We knew Stephen A. Smith was going to defend uh, Cracker McGregor. We knew that. We knew Stephen A. Smith was going to have this fake outrage towards O.J. Simpson. Now, before you super pro-black people come on here talking about O.J. Simpson is a coon and why is it, I know all that. I know everything there is to know about O.J. Simpson. Or now, James Simpson from San Francisco, California, from Portrayal Hill. Know everything there is to know about OJ. He from the Bay. Heisman Trophy winner. You know, one of the first uh, running backs to rush for 2,000 yards in a 14 game season. You know, first battle Hall of Famer. I, I know everything about OJ Simpson. You can't tell me shit about OJ Simpson. So you can save that OJ is a coon shit. It isn't about that right now. Okay? It isn't about that. It's about what's going on with him. And like I said, white people, like I said, real talk, y'all be having y'all damn nerve calling y'all self being mad and talking about the justice system failed. Well, it, did it fail when y'all was getting away with murdering black people? Did it fail when uh the dudes that murdered Emmett Till got away with it? You know, and the white bitch that admitted that she lied on M on Emmett Till got to live pretty much a full, healthy life. You know what I'm saying? Did the justice system fail when, you know, y'all destroyed Black Wall Street and pretty much nobody was brought to trial? Same thing with Rosewood. Pretty much the same thing with the Contras. Y'all wasn't talking about the justice system failed then. Y'all wasn't talking about the justice system failed when George Zimmerman shot a 17-year-old black kid who was minding his own business. Keep in mind, who was minding his own fucking business. You know what I'm saying? What did y'all tell us? Oh, to respect the law. So like I said, y'all white people be having y'all damn nerve. I'm not trying to listen to nothing y'all got to say. Y'all full of shit. Y'all a bunch of cowards. Don't want to set accountability for nothing so if you feel like the justice system failed in the oj simpson case well then how come you love it when it worked out in your favor keep in mind that these are your laws so of course it's always going to work in your favor because you created them to have an unfair advantage over other people so shut the fuck up stay the fuck off my channel talking that shit i don't give a fuck in another thing i don't give a fuck about no white slaves. I don't give a flying fuck about that. So don't come on my channel. T I know all about that. I want y'all to understand. I don't give a fuck. Just like y'all don't give a fuck about what happened to us. So say that shit. Stay the fuck off my channel. Okay? Because at the end of the day, a lot of history is based off his story. Y'all know for changing history. Or trying to alter it. Or say something wasn't that bad when it really was. Okay? Stop it. Ain't nobody trying to hear that garbage. Now getting back to Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith is just a, a shook and a jibbing ass, you know, beans and cornbread ass nigga. He will do anything to stay on TV no matter what. He's already been exposed. He admitted to Corey Holcomb that they make him say that shit. And like I said, that makes him even more pathetic because at the end of the day, that means he knows he isn't telling the truth. But for the almighty dollar, he willing to throw his people under the bus. You know, to make a, make some dollars and a nigga like him can never be trusted. Like I said, there is going to be a time where Stephen A. Smith needs the black community. It's going to happen. And all I'm going to do is turn my back on him as he didn't done us.